following program is sponsored by CBN. Welcome to the 700 Club. A smoldering volcano in the Philippines could erupt again, killing those in the danger zone. Already tens of thousands of people have evacuated, most with only the clothes on their backs. Now what will they do? Here's George Thomas with the story. In Batangas province, some 40 miles south of Manila, roads beginning to crack as local authorities warn Taal Volcano could see a bigger eruption at any moment. Five days after the volcano spewing lava and ash, anxious residents are lining up, desperate to get back to their homes, despite the risk. We want to feed our animals, even for just one hour if the authorities will allow us. This is our only source of income for us, and yet they are not allowing us to go back. More than 120,000 people fled the province, many escaping with just the clothes on their back. We only eat if there are donations. If there are no donated relief goods, we don't eat. We can't buy anything because we have no money. We were caught by surprise. This is drone footage of Laurel, a small town blanketed in gray following the Sunday eruption. Homes, farms and trees covered in ash. Late Thursday, CBN News reporter Lucille Talusan gained access near the volcano. This is the town of Talisay and uh, it is within the danger zone. And so as you can see, this is like a ghost town now because most of the residents here have been forcibly evacuated. Many of Talisay's residents and others now seeking shelter in the more than 350 evacuation centers. CBN's Operation Blessing teams working here around the clock since a volcano erupted are providing much-needed relief supplies like water, mats, hygiene items, food packets and masks. To date, Operation Blessing has helped more than 1,000 families. Seismologists say while the volcano shows signs of calming down, the danger remains real and are urging authorities to keep residents a safe distance away. More than 100 tremors have been registered around the volcano since Wednesday. George Thomas, CBN News. If you're a member of the 700 Club, thank you. You're part of that relief effort. We're going to be doing even more in the coming days to make sure those uh, refugees, those evacuees are properly taken care of and have the food and water that they need. In other news, for just the third time in history, the Senate has been sworn in for a presidential impeachment trial. And starting next week, House Democrats make their case for removing President Trump from office. As Mark Martin reports, a few key senators could determine how it all goes. It's a scene that has only played out in America twice before. Senators sitting solemnly in their seats to begin the impeachment trial of a president. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. All persons are commanded to keep silent on pain of imprisonment. Chief Justice John Roberts will oversee the trial. So help you God. I do. God bless you. Each senator also taking an oath to do impartial justice. So help you God. Opening arguments begin Tuesday at 1 o'clock. And the big question, what's the strategy of Democratic impeachment managers led by Congressman Adam Schiff? Impeaching Donald John Trump, President of the United States, for high crimes and misdemeanors. Democrats say there's new evidence to examine, including newly released information from former Rudy Giuliani associate Lev Parnas, who says there's no question the president wanted to convince Ukraine to investigate his potential Democratic presidential political opponent. President Trump knew exactly what was going on. Uh, he was aware of all of my movements. Uh, he, I wouldn't do anything without the consent of Rudy Giuliani or the president. From the Oval Office, President Trump again called the process partisan and denied Parnas' claims. Don't know where he comes from, know nothing about him. I can only tell you this thing is a big hoax. A top priority of the House impeachment managers will be to convince moderate Republican senators to allow witnesses. Two Democratic senators will also be key players. Senators Joe Manchin of West Virginia and Doug Jones of Alabama represent states where Trump is popular and may vote in his favor at the end. Despite all the Washington intrigue about the trial, the president is widely expected to be acquitted. That's because it takes a supermajority, 67 senators to convict, which would require Democrats to convince 20 Republicans to vote against the president. Mark Martin, CBN News.
Well, it all starts on Tuesday, 1 p.m., and it'll be high drama on Capitol Hill. We'll be right back with more of the 700 Club after this. When Jessie DeMalo got her first paycheck as a police officer, she celebrated. She bought a brand new car. Before long, Jesse was way overextended and depending on payday loans to get by. Then one day, she came home to face the ultimate humiliation, an eviction notice on her front door. Jesse DeMalo was so stressed out she couldn't sleep. But it wasn't her job as a police officer that kept her up. It was her worries about money. At that time, I had loans at three different companies. Um, my car payment was behind and now the rent, so it was a lot. It was just, it was bad. It wasn't that she didn't make enough to live on because she did. She just had never been taught good money management. I came from working in retail. I used to work at Saks Fifth Avenue where I was like making like $9.50 and little waitressing jobs, stuff like that. So when I got that first check, I was like, Oh my God, I gotta go buy a new car. <laughs> so I went and bought a brand new car so now I have a high new car payment. Letting people borrow money, um, eating out all the time, shopping frivolously. And you know, if I would run out of money, I would just go and get a loan, you know, get a payday loan or something like that. Jesse is also a single mother trying to raise her son by herself. But no matter how many hours she worked, her financial situation never improved. It's like no matter how much came in, <laughs> nothing was sticking. It was like I had holes in my pockets. And then I came home one day and there was an eviction notice on my door. Seeing that on an officer's door, first thing that came to mind was like embarrassment, um, disappointment in myself. It was kind of like that slap in the face moment, like wake up, do something different. To keep from being evicted, Jessie asked if she could move in with her aunt, who was a strong Christian. And there she would go, Jesse, you don't pay your tithes. You need to pay your tithes in church. That's why you're not seeing nothing. And just go on into a lecture. And I'm like, man, I don't want to hear that. How can I give away money when I can't? I'm telling you, I can't save money. I'm like, what are they going to do with it? I'm not giving it to that church. Like, you know, they're just going to spend my money. Here I am, barely above water. And now you want me to give away 10%? I don't think so. Reluctantly, Jesse went to church with her and tithed. Soon after, she saw results. An email pops up. And I read the email and it's this apartment complex looking for a courtesy officer. And basically what a courtesy officer is, is they have you stay on the property for either discounted rent or free rent and you do X, Y, and Z, whatever, whatever they ask you to do. So I called and I was like, okay, how much is the rent? And she was like, it's free. And she was like, you can move in this week. So I was literally at my aunt's house for like two weeks paying tithes, doing everything normal, whatever. And this great opportunity of a free apartment comes up, comes available. And that's when I started to say, you know what, maybe she's, maybe she's on to something. Because of that blessing, Jesse began attending church and giving on a regular basis. I went and bought a Bible and it was like the words were just jumping out at me. You know, I was reading about tithing in Malachi and stuff like that and giving your offerings and stuff. And I was like, this stuff really works. Eventually, Jesse got a raise at work. One day, she decided to fully commit her life to God. I called my aunt and I was like, I want to get saved. I want to do it all over again. Do I have to wait until Sunday to go to church? She was like, no, we can do it right now. And I literally felt like a new person. I felt like this big weight had been lifted off of me. I felt like a new person. I felt like I could fly or whatever. Jessie's life changed so dramatically that she even began to give more than a tithe. She also became a CBN partner. I just love what the network stands for. I love the stories that they provide every day. And I love Pat's, Pat's Q&A questions and stuff. They're not just talking, they're actually doing walking the walk. You know, they're going out providing people with clean water and they're going out when people get hit by natural disasters. And I love that they're actually feet on the ground doing that thing. You know, they're, they're not just behind the screen taking your money, they're putting that money to use and you can see that. Jesse's finances are back on track and she now lives in peace knowing that God is her source. I paid off all my debt. Only debt I have now are my student loans and my car payment, that's it. I'm telling you, tithing is like the secret ingredient. It's, just, it's a secret key that I just wish more people knew and took seriously. Tithing is the secret key. Here it is from Proverbs 11. One scatters yet increases more. 
and one withholds more than is right, but it leads to poverty. The generous soul will be made rich, and he who waters will also be watered himself. When you understand it's generosity that's the key, when you're generous, then wonderful things will happen to you. Well, Keith and Carrie Kemp were living in a rundown trailer. It was a d drastic fall from their former life as the owners of a booming construction business. But then things went from bad to worse, and even the Kemp's trailer was repossessed. Keith and Terry Kemp love spending time together on their farm. In 1996, the Kemp's ran the largest construction company in Okaloosa County. When you've done something and the people really love it, and you know, that satisfaction you get from thrilling them and giving them what, what they were asking for, that's always the best thing. In 2000, they began building spec homes for a real estate company that pushed them to build more homes than they budgeted. Keith believed he could deliver. We were booming so much that he just planned that we would sell that many homes. So he just borrowed the money and, you know, and built all those homes, but they just didn't sell. The market just dropped. We didn't have enough money in the bank to pull us on through until they were sold. The unsold homes were eventually repossessed and caused the Kemp's to shut down their business. Keith began subcontracting with other companies, but the money he earned wasn't enough to cover all their expenses. They soon lost their home, vehicles, and were forced to move into a trailer on an empty lot owned by a friend. But that too was repossessed. When they were gonna repossess the trailer, Keith started throwing this house together with um, a few of our friends and um, it wasn't even finished when we had to move into it, when they took the trailer. We didn't have stairs at the front door. We had plywood floors down. Our drywall wasn't done on the walls. I mean, um, it was very, very unfinished, and we had to live in that and finish it as we went. Oh, I felt terrible because, uh, you know, I've always been able to supply for my family. When I'm struggling to try to figure out where we're gonna make the money and how, I'm gonna take care of my wife and kids. That hurts you. Terry was a 700 Club viewer, and soon Keith began to watch it as well. There, he learned about tithing. Watching the 700 Club and Keith seeing the money miracles that happened once the people started tithing. Some of them didn't even have money to buy food with, but they gave their last $5. And then stuff just started happening to them. So I said, Keith, God said, God cannot lie. God said, give me 10% and he, and he would give you that tenfold over. I'm like, he can't lie. I said, just test him. Test him, Keith, test him. I thought she was crazy. She'd always been wanting to tithe and me, oh. They ain't getting my money, <laughs> so I wouldn't do this. But as things got bad, and the more I started watching the 700 Club, then, you know, I finally agreed. Keith and Terry began tithing to their church. They also started giving to CBN. Before long, they saw God begin to move in their finances when Terry noticed a deposit in her bank account that she didn't make. I went to the bank and I told them this money's in there and it's not mine. And they're like, yes, ma'am, it is. I was like, no, it's not. Only one check gets deposited in here. They're like, yes, ma'am, it is your money. I said, well, then I'll take every bit of it. The camps continued to tithe faithfully. Then Keith started receiving multiple construction jobs. As their income increased, so did their giving to CBN. I was convinced, you know, that if, if it's going to be there when you need it, you, you might as well help out as many people as you can. Today, the camps are back in business. Keith's income has doubled, and they're now debt-free. They've also finished building their house, and they know without a doubt that God blesses those that are faithful in their giving. Just try it. I think anybody that tries it could do it for a year, and if they ain't noticed that things are going better for them, I'll be totally shocked. I encourage everyone to tithe. I'm telling you, if you would tithe, you will see a miracle. Take Keith's challenge this year in 2020. See if tithing for the year will make a difference for you. He's saying, I guarantee it, he's a convert to it. In that story, he was very honest about, I didn't want to tithe, I didn't want to give my money away. And then he starts to do it. And he starts to do it at a time where things are really bad. I mean, when you get to the point where your trailer's repossessed, things are bad. And, and he said, well, let's 
I've tried it my way. Let's try it God's way and see what will happen. People get confused about tithing, and here's where it all comes from. It's from Deuteronomy chapter 14. And these are the words of God Almighty. You shall truly tithe all the increase of your grain that the field produces year by year. So it's a tithe 10% on the increase. So whatever your increase is, that's what you're supposed to tithe. But in the original Hebrew, the English is you shall truly tithe. The original Hebrew is tithe. That's a repeat of the word. Tithe, you shall tithe. God's underlining this, that this is a fundamental principle, that if you're following him, this is what you need to do. Abraham tithe, Jacob tithe, Moses tithe. We need to realize tithe is, fun, a tithe is fundamental. And Keith finally got that. And when he did, the blessings of the Lord come. God doesn't want to be stingy with you. He wants to bless you, but he's looking for conditions. And one of the conditions, are you going to obey his word? When you do it, wonderful things will happen. Now, I've got some great news. Some existing CBN partners love giving so much. They're generous. They want to challenge others to give. So they will match your giving dollar for dollar, $120,000. Let's pray. Lord, we ask for a blessing, and we ask for the blessing that comes from you. And Lord, teach us your way. Show us the way to go. And for people in financial trouble this year, for people who are wondering, what do I do? Where do I go? Just open your word to them. Give them, give them the revelation of how much you want to bless them and how you will open the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing they cannot contain. You watch over your word to perform it. Reveal that to them. For we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. The challenge is 120000 What are we asking you to do? Well, we're asking you to give to CBN. How, how much is it to join the 700 Club? Well, it's $20 a month, 65 cents a day. Some of you can join at 700 Club Gold, $40 a month. 1,000 Club, $1,000 a year. That breaks out to $84 a month. At whatever level, we're in a $120,000 challenge, so your giving is matched dollar for dollar, $120,000. Call us now, 1-800-700-7000. Terry? Well, I'm excited to tell you that when you become a CBN partner, we have a gift for you. It's Pat Robertson's latest book called 10 Laws for Success. And inside this, you'll find the keys to security and success in your work, in your family, and in your finances. Here's what actor Kevin Sorbo has to say about it. Hi, I'm Kevin Sorbo, and I want to tell you about a phenomenal book that I just read, 10 Laws for Success by Pat Robertson. See, I firmly believe it can transform your life and the, the lives of those that you care about. In this book, Pat shares the supernatural secrets he's discovered and shows you the way to a rich and fulfilling life. In the book, 10 Laws for Success, Pat shares biblical life principles that can put you on a path to purpose, fulfillment, and achievement. Call 1-800-700-7000 or go to CBN.com to receive your own copy today. 10 Laws for Success. This dynamic book is a must read for anyone who wants to achieve their goals, build a solid financial foundation, and grow in their relationship with God. I highly recommend that you get your own copy of Pat Robertson's latest book, 10 Laws for Success. God bless you. These supernatural secrets that Kevin is talking about are actually biblical principles. Pat has called them out for us and then given us wise counsel on how to apply them to our lives. We want you to have this. And it's our gift to you. It's our way of saying thank you when you call the 700 Club and become a part of making a difference in the lives of others. So there's our toll-free number. It's 1-800-700-7000. Just call and say, I'd like to join the 700 Club. Gordon? Lynn Keyes took one look at her bank account and couldn't believe what she saw. Her husband had gambled away their life savings. Lynn was devastated. And then a few months later, the news got worse. Lynn Keyes was making great money at her dream job. She and her husband were even able to build a sizable retirement account. But when the recession hit, Lynn's husband was laid off. That's when Lynn started looking at their finances and noticed they had been bleeding money. I ran a spreadsheet of our last 18 months of uh, transaction. It was 14 pages of Facebook jackpot 
gambling transactions, $82,000. On top of that, her husband gambled away even more from their 401k. Probably what I can figure out is about 380,000 gone. Yeah, my life, like my retirement. I couldn't believe what I was looking at. I just sat there and stared at it for like five minutes. Like, this can't be happening. The couple divorced. Lynn lost the home and had to move into her own apartment. A few months later, even more bad news. So July the 14th, I get a phone call from my boss telling me that I've laid off and lost my job. I'm totally like balling at that point, like rock bottom balling. Like what, what else is gonna happen? So I had nothing to come home to, nothing. Just no hope. Desperate for help, Lynn began attending church on a regular basis. I figured out that only the good Lord above will give you hope. And I started reading that book and started really, really trying to have a personal relationship with God for the first time. And it was just like all that anger and sadness just, it went away. After getting saved, Lynn's whole attitude about money changed as well. She learned about tithing and she decided to give it a try and gave off her unemployment checks. One ministry she supported was CBN. I started giving and it's like, Lord, okay, so I, I'm a little tight here, but I said, I'm gonna give to this CBN ministry. Okay, and I'll give, I'll give $20. Because they just, they just help so many people around the world. I had no idea. And you just see these stories of people that, you know, and I'm sitting around feeling sorry for myself because I don't have a good paying job and these people don't have water to drink. My support helps people at least have, you know, the basic necessities of life. After giving faithfully, even while doing low paying shift work, Lynn finally got her dream job again. Now she gets full benefits and is able to save. Happy tears. Lots of happy tears. Me and my girlfriend, we would sit around and hold hands and pray that we'd get this job at TD Bank and it was just the glorious thing. It was just, it was just so, such a happy moment to, you know, you get that call. So we went out and celebrated. We posted on Facebook. I mean, it was, it was, very, it was a very happy moment. It finally afforded me to be able to, you know, take weekend trips to the ocean or the mountains. And, you know, it's just been a blessing. Back on stable financial ground, Lynn says the Lord is restoring what she had lost. And I, I totally uh, credit that to trust in the Lord and tithing. You give and He will give you back more than you will ever imagine. Just trust in Him that He's going to take care of you. You can trust Him because He will take care of you. Here's Lynn. She's devastated. Uh, where, do you, where do you go? Your husband gambles away your future and then you lose your job. What do you do? Well, Lynn learned to lean into God. That's exactly the point in time uh, that, that we do. And I encourage people, whether you're facing what Lynn faced or you're facing success on a daily basis, lean into God, realize He is the source. Here's what Paul said, 1 Timothy 6, teach those who are rich in this world not to be proud and not to trust in their money, which is so unreliable. Their trust should be in God, who richly gives us all we need for our enjoyment. Tell them to use their money to do good, and they should be rich in good works and generous to those in need, always being ready to share with others. Lynn decided she was always going to be ready to share with others. You see the result that happened to her. It will happen to you because God stands over his word to perform it. Now we've got a $120,000 challenge and we can get the red number up. We're down to 103 and we're taking the red number down. We're hearing from Midland, Texas, $2,500, a 2,500 club member. That takes us down to 96,000 with 32 minutes, 35 seconds on the clock. Call us now and say, yes, I want to be a part. 1-800-700-7000. Let's go to Andrew at the phones. Thank you so much, Gordon. Well, do you feel like you're striving rather than thriving in your work, in your family life, even your finances? Maybe all three. Well, in his latest book, 10 Laws for Success, Pat Robertson shares the same principles with you that he's learned about success. Just watch. 
These laws can bring blessing beyond comprehension. Now available, Pat Robertson's latest book, 10 Laws for Success. And I believe these laws can transform the nation, transform organizations, transform you and your family. Call 1-800-700-7000 or go to CBN.com to receive your own copy today. 10 Laws for Success, Fundamental Principles of Growth for All Situations and for All People, No Matter What Your Station in Life. End Confusion. Find answers. Reach your goals. 10 Laws for Success, Keys to Win in Work, Family, and Finance. Get Pat Robertson's latest book, 10 Laws for Success, and start winning today. Call 1-800-700-7000 or go to cbn.com. Available now. This new book is a great resource. You heard Gordon say earlier, it's a new year. It's a new year. And with a new year comes a lot of us saying, God, I'm going to get some things set in this new year. Some priorities are going to be lifted up. And what greater priority for us than growing in more intimacy with Jesus Christ? The great thing about this book, no matter where you are on your faith journey with Jesus, if you're a new believer, this book is very conversational. If you've been a Christ follower for a long time, this book has great treasures and truth that will continue to teach you what it means to live for Jesus Christ. I encourage you to get a copy. We've made it very easy. You can call us, you can text us, you can visit the website, you can call 800 700 7000, or of course go to CBN.com, or if you'd rather just use your mobile phone, you can text CBN to 71777. No matter how you join, you will be a part of this great challenge. It's a $120,000 challenge. There's a lot of excitement over here at the phones as people are calling in, and we thank you for each and every call made. And help us join this challenge $120,000. You can call us at 800 700 7000. Simply say, I want to join the 700 Club. Let's go over to Terry. Well, when you do join the 700 Club, you help people right here in America, like Herman and Marie Peterson. After Hurricane Michael destroyed their home, all they had to keep warm was a propane fish fryer. The couple lived in a gutted house with hardly any walls for almost a year until they received help from CBN Partners. It was terrible. The hurricane was blowing rain and water almost 200 miles an hour. The softness on the sides was blown out too, and the water was going down through the walls into the floor. When Hurricane Michael flooded their home in Mexico Beach, Florida, Herman and Marie Peterson had to completely gut it. Even with all that work to do, Herman's main priority is caring for Marie, who has Parkinson's. I try to be strong for her. It just makes Parkinson worse when she's got stress. With no insulation in November and December and it was 40 degrees out, we couldn't stay in here. So he put a bed up in the whole barn. He lit the propane fish fryer to keep me warm. For almost a year, the couple lived in their house with hardly any walls as they tried to restore their home on their own. How do you just about rebuild the house from scratch except for the slabs and the two by fours? Last month, he was trying to do some things. It was so hot in here that he had heat exhaustion. He sat over there on the chair, just getting sick to him, his stomach. We've done everything that we possibly can. When Operation Blessing heard about the Petersons, we knew we needed to help. A team of volunteers rebuilt their walls, floors, and ceilings. It feels like a burden lifted. You hear Christ talking in the New Testament, you know, come to me and I will lift your burden. I know through him all is possible, and I know that y'all are sent by him. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Can't say thank you enough. I know for myself, you can't outgive the Lord. And when you give into Operation Blessings, it's just like giving to the Lord. I just can't thank you enough to be able to have a home with floors and walls. These blessings are more than I could ever imagine, more than I could ever dream of. But thanks to Operation Blessings and people like you, we have a home. (laughs) 
We have suffered some extreme natural disasters here in the United States over the last few years, and 700 Club members, you have made it possible for us to be there every single time. We say thank you. Listen, join the 700 Club if you haven't already done that. Our number's toll-free. It's 1-800-700-7000. Just call today, will you? A general membership is 65 cents a day, $20 a month. If you're already at that level, why don't you go up to 700 Club Gold? That's a gift of $40 a month. And then some folks join us at the 1,000 Club level. That's $84 a month. We have had lots of people this week jumping up to the 2,500 Club. That's $209 a month. Or become a founder. $417 a month, $5,000 a year. Do something to make a difference because when we link arms together, we really can touch the world with the love of Christ. So you call now. Gordon? I have no idea how to pronounce this name. Kalkaska? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kalkaska, Michigan. 1,000 Club member going to 2,500. That takes that red number down to 63,000 with 26 minutes and 20 seconds. Call us right now. Be a part of it. 1-800-700-7000. Well, as a CBM partner, you help people all over the world, like a premature baby born in China named Xu Ling. She developed sepsis, and her parents had no money for the emergency surgery she needed to survive. By the time Xu Ling was three months old, she was fighting for her life. She was very weak. The doctor said her organs didn't work well and her immunity was low. Her stomach was four times bigger than it should be. It turned out that she had intestinal obstruction and peritonitis. Her bowel was full of pus that infected her lungs and liver. And if they didn't remove it, Xue Ling would die. I was so scared. I took her little hand and said, Xue Ling, you must be strong. Please don't leave me. The couple borrowed money for surgery, but three days later, Xu Ling developed sepsis and was worse than ever. It felt like someone was stabbing my heart. I look at her face and wish she would open her eyes and smile at me just one more time. If we brought her home, she wouldn't survive. I felt like a failure as a father, and my mother said, you must pray and give her up to God. Only He can help her. The Shangs never thought they really needed Jesus until now. They prayed all night, asking God for a miracle. The next day, a doctor told them that CBN would pay for emergency surgery. God sent CBN in response to our prayers. Chilin's platelets are back to normal. Her intestines are free of contamination, and she's lively and strong. I'm so grateful to CBN. If you hadn't come to help us in time, my baby would have died. You are strangers, but you've been so helpful to us. Now, I am sure God is real. You are helping people around the world. You're doing that if you're a member of the 700 Club. You're part of everything we do, whether it's Operation Blessing, whether it's special surgeries, uh, providing clean water, helping orphans, producing Superbook cartoons so children can hear the gospel. You're a part of all of it when you join the 700 Club. Be a part. Call us, 1-800-700-7000. If you are a member of the 700 Club, consider increasing this year. Consider going to 700 Club Gold, $40 a month, or 1,000 Club, that's $1,000 a year, that's $84 a month. At whatever level, when you call, ask for Pledge Express, electronic monthly giving. The bank is doing all the work, and we can send as our gift to you, Power for Life, monthly teaching CDs. So if you'd like those, ask for Pledge Express when you call. Let's go to Andrew at the phones. Andrew? Well, what if someone could hand you a blueprint for success in life? for satisfying work, for a loving family, and successful finances. In Pat Robertson's latest book, you can discover all of that and more. Take a look. Your life needs a direction, a blueprint for success. In his book, 10 Laws for Success, Pat Robertson draws from a wellspring of wisdom acquired from a life rooted in God's Word. Discover how to bring your family economic success, build unity to achieve your goals, and grow in perseverance to reap its rewards. 
Get Pat Robertson's latest book, 10 Laws for Success, and start winning today. Well, one of the reasons I want you to get this book is because Pat teaches about the law of perseverance. If you're feeling discouraged, even hopeless, there's a key chapter in here about perseverance in which Pat talks about significant people in the Bible that we've read about and how they persevered, and even the parables of Jesus Christ that teach us not to give up, to have faith in our Savior and persevere. It's a key chapter that I think could transform your life. This book is yours when you join the 700 Club. We encourage you to do so. It's just $20 a month. Call us at 800-700-7000, or of course, there's a great option to text your gift. You can simply text CBN to 71777, or of course, visit the website. You can give that way as well. However you do so, you'll be a part of this challenge. It's a $120,000 challenge, and we encourage you to join the 700 Club. And thank you so much for those who have done so, and for those of you who have increased your level of giving. We're much appreciated. Gordon, back over to you. Well, sunrises and sandy beaches. For years, Greg and Sharon Clark enjoyed running an oceanfront motel until the upkeep began to drown them in debt. So how did they get back to their happy place? Take a look. Greg and Sharon Clark live in Ormond Beach, Florida, where for years they owned and operated the nostalgic Argosy Motel. We had plenty of sand, natural sand dunes and you see the sunrise every morning. Uh, we had so many people say to us, I would just love to own a motel and run a place like this on the beach. It's great. But they didn't see how much effort went into it. Running the motel came with a heavy price. The older units were in constant need of repairs and upgrades. It would cost anywhere between seventeen dollars and $25,000 for a new roof, and I couldn't, I couldn't pay that. The couple drove an old car and cut back on everything they could. Even still, they refused to stop giving. We felt that if we were faithful in what God told us to do, that he would always be faithful to take care of us. But then, more bad news. The motel ran into drainage problems, and fixing it would set the Clarks back $250,000. It was very stressful. I was concerned for Greg's health. The couple prayed about selling the motel and had it on and off the market for several years with no offers, while the bills kept coming. We had a combination of higher taxes, failed drain fields, and uh, leaky roofs, you name it, we had it. At that juncture, we realized that we were at the end of the road. Even with no sign of a buyer, they kept giving. Money has a tight hold on people, and when we are willing to give a small amount back to God. It proves that we trust Him. The Clarks continued believing that God would provide. And then the day came, and I received a phone call at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. My realtor, him saying to me, Greg, congratulations, you just sold the Argosy to the Volusia County. Next words out of my mouth were to him, thank you, Jesus. The county bought the Argosy so they could turn the property into beachfront parking. It's a miracle that God brought us through every situation. We were finally able to not worry about money every day. The Clarks say trusting God in their giving helped save them from what could have been financial ruin. They support a number of ministries and causes, one of which is CBN. I do tell people if they're going to give to any disaster relief uh, organization, you can trust CBN without, without question. Greg and Sharon used the money from the sale of the Argosy Motel to buy a new home and invest in other rental properties. They've been able to retire and enjoy the peace of mind that goes along with it. I feel like when we're obedient to God, He is faithful to us. And He has asked us to give 10%. Give God a chance. He's so faithful if you would just try it. Give God a chance. When you try it, He proves it. It's the only time we get to test God is in our tithes and offerings. I've got some wonderful news. Some partners from Pennsylvania are adding 53,000 to the challenge. That'll take us to 173,000. And Lord, we ask for blessing for this. We ask for blessing for the partners who made it possible to increase. We ask a blessing for those who are watching right now, and we ask for a blessing for those who are giving. 
the generous soul will be made rich. And so we just trust your word that you will make us rich spiritually. You will prosper us. You will be with us in our time of need. We thank you for it in Jesus name. Amen. And amen. 173,000 is the challenge amount, 17 minutes, five seconds. The red number is at 74,000. That's the amount left to make in just 17 minutes. We need to hear from you. Call us now, 1 800 700 7000. Terry? Well, just taking a simple step was painful for a young girl from Tanzania named Glory. It broke her father's heart that she couldn't run, she couldn't play with other children. But what's worse, doctors said Glory's condition would only get worse as she grew older. Glory was born a healthy child, but by the time she turned two, her parents noticed she had trouble walking. She complained of pain. The doctors told us to give her fish and vegetables to strengthen her legs, but it didn't help. She is my first born child and I love her very much. It hurts to see her struggle. As she grows, Glory's condition is only getting worse. It's getting more painful and more difficult for her to walk every day. Children laughed at her and called her handicapped. She was really sad and didn't want to play with anyone. There was no way I could afford surgery. It made me feel like I failed as a father but I prayed for her every day. When a friend told them about Plaster House, a ministry supported by Operation Blessing, Gloria and her father traveled 16 hours by bus to get here, and soon we arranged and paid for Gloria's surgery. She's a completely different child. Now when she comes home from school, the first thing she wants to do is play. When family and friends visit, she shows everyone that her legs are straight. I am so happy to see her playing and walking. It is a thing of wonder that people who don't even know us helped my daughter. May God bless everyone who helped her. That could not have happened without people like you stepping in to make a difference. We want to say thank you because Glory's life is forever changed. This is happening all around the world because of the kindness and generosity of 700 Club Partners. Will you become one today? Our number's toll free. Just call and say you'd like to join the 700 Club or call and increase the level of your giving if you're able to. And when you do it, will you do it using Pledge Express? That's electronic monthly giving. It means your bank does all the work. You don't have to have stamps or envelopes. You don't have to remember anything. It's all done for you and it saves us some administrative costs so we can put even more of your gift right into the lives of people like Glory. Our way of saying thank you for using Pledge Express is to send you Power for Life teachings. You'll get one of these every single month. We think they'll be a blessing to you even as you're touching the lives of others. So call now. Gordon? All right, from Nebraska City, Nebraska, 3,000, a 2,500 club member increasing. And then from Black Lake, Ohio, $6,000. That takes us down to 55,000, 14 minutes. Be a part of it. Call us now, 1-800-700-7000. Well, James Pogge was injured serving his country in Afghanistan. He lost his left leg and the use of his right arm. Every day was a struggle around the house until this former Marine got a homecoming he never expected. U.S. Marine James Pogge had an important job in Afghanistan, getting helicopters and their crew in the air and back safely in the middle of war. When he was deployed, James left behind his wife, Stephanie, and son, Logan. Stephanie remembers her constant concern. I thought about him 24-7, all day, every day. It was very stressful. One night, while James helped bring in a damaged chopper, he was hit in the head by flying debris. And I ducked, and it, it clipped me. I went down. But in that moment, it wasn't something bad just happened. It was this helicopter can't land. So you're not worried about yourself. You have to get the helicopter on the ground safely. Months later, muscle tremors started that progressed to blackouts and seizures. He was diagnosed with severe nerve damage and spinal cord compression. James lost partial use of his arm, and after multiple surgeries over several years, the nerve damage cost him his leg. Stephanie faithfully stood by him while they navigated their new norm. In sickness and in health, Ray, this is 
what we're all about. That's right. Even with Stephanie's devoted help, maneuvering through their split-level home was nearly impossible for James. He would have to crawl everywhere. He was constantly falling downstairs. The doorways were too narrow. His chair wouldn't fit through any of them. It didn't work at all. James and Stephanie's situation changed when CBN's Helping the Homefront teamed up with Operation Finally Home, who builds custom houses for disabled warriors. The first step was a surprise groundbreaking ceremony. The My kids God. were like, are we part of this parade? Yeah, I don't know what's happening. I guess we're part of it. <laughs> no way, yeah. not on, not us. <laughs> Then, Homes by Design started building. Before the house was complete, the community was invited to write messages and post them inside the framework. The pogies came to see the progress. They're so heartwarming and everybody thanking him for his service and wishing our family good luck. We can't wait to be home. We're home, but we can't wait to stay home. Soon the house was complete. Volunteers helped interior designer Tiffany Nimmons with the finishing touches. Then it was time to welcome the Pogies home. Surprise! <laughs> I love this. Oh. <laughs> this is what I was talking about. Oh. It's so perfect! Oh my god! What do you think? Oh my god! It's <laughs> beautiful! <laughs> oh. What do you think? Oh. The Pogie family is now settled in to their brand new home. People keep telling me that I'm a hero, and I'm not. They are. The real heroes are the people who give us something to wake up for every day. CBN, Homes by Design, Operation Finally Home, even down to the people who gave a dollar. They're the real heroes. You're the hero of that story. If you're a member of the 700 Club, you're part of that. You're part of blessing that wonderful family. Here they are, active duty military gets injured, and, and who's there to help care? Well, you're there, you're there. You're there as part of helping the home front. And it, it's wonderful what happens when we all get together to say, yes, let's make a difference. This is what the 700 Club does. We go out and we help people. Uh, we do it through Operation Blessing, we do it through Orphan's Promise, we do it through Helping the Home Front, we do it through Superbook, we do it through our international broadcast. You're a part of everything when you join with us. So call us, 1-800-700-7000. Say, I want to be a member of the 700 Club. Now, I've got some great news. CBN Partners are adding $30,000 to this challenge. That takes us over 203. And let's pray. Lord, we ask for blessing. We ask for the increase that comes from you 30, 60, 100 fold. Bless the partners who made it possible to increase and increase those who are, are calling in right now. Be with them, encourage them. We ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. 203,000 is the challenge amount. Eight minutes, 55 seconds. We get the red number back up. 58,000 left to go. So call us, 1-800-700-7000. Let's go to Andrew. Thank you so much, Gordon. Well, have you ever wondered what it takes to be successful? Pat Robertson tells you in his latest book, it's called 10 Laws for Success. Just watch. I began to cry out my heart to God. Lord, please show me how the world works. And out of that time of prayer, something began to come to me that is profound. In this dynamic new book from Pat Robertson, Pat shares biblical life principles that can put you on a path to purpose, fulfillment, and achievement. Get Pat Robertson's 10 Laws for Success. Call now or go to CBN.com. This great new book is yours. When you call us and join the 700 Club, I urge you to get a copy. You know, one of my favorite chapters in here is about the law of miracles. And so many of us need a miracle in our life or in the life of someone dear to us. It could be a financial miracle, a physical miracle. In this book, Pat talks about the law of miracles. And what does Jesus say about miraculous power in the kingdom of God? We want you to find out. And you'll get this great book when you join us at the 700 Club level, $20 a month. Or you can join at 700 Club Gold. 
That's just $40 a month. No matter the club level you join, you'll be part of this great challenge. Call us at 800-700-7000 or go to the website, cbn.com slash give. Or maybe you'd rather give via your mobile phone. You can always text us at 71777. Just text CBN. However you decide to give, we thank you so much, and you'll be a part of this great challenge. It's a $203,000 challenge. We're nearly there. Be a part of it. 800-700-7000. Terry, over to you. Thanks, Andrew. Well, I've got some good news. Here are some folks helping us to meet that challenge from Joliet, Illinois, a 2,500 club member increasing to $4,200. Thank you. And from Plano, Texas, a 700 club gold member going up to $6,960. Thank you so much. Well, we want you to meet Leck, who is a single mom who made a special promise to her son and daughter, and she vowed she would never break it. Leck was determined to keep that promise even when she and her children were starving. The day Leck's husband abandoned their family, Leck made a promise to herself and to her children. I promised that I would take care of them, that I would love them and never leave them. But Leck's promise would soon be tested. With her limited income from part-time jobs, she could barely provide food for them to eat. Sometimes, Mom mixed rice with sugar for me and my brother. I wish there was more for us, but my mom had no money. Lex San Noom told us they also borrowed food from neighbors when the money ran out. Mom wouldn't eat with us. So I said, Mom, I won't eat everything, so you can have some too. Then one day, as Lek borrowed money for food, a neighbor urged her to send her children to live at an orphanage. I was speechless. That really hurt me. I remembered my promise to my children that I would never leave them. Some nights, I couldn't sleep. I cried all night. I didn't know what to do. When CBN's Orphan's Promise learned that Lek knew how to sew, we gave her a sewing machine and everything needed to start a home-based business. I've always wanted a sewing machine, but could never afford one. I'm so excited! A nearby factory soon contracted with Lek to make medical face masks. She also does tailoring and clothing repairs for her neighbors. Thanks to that new business, her income has tripled. Now, my mom can buy chicken and fish for me and my brother. I love my mom's cooking. I always say, thank you, mom. Thank you for giving me and my children a new life. I have strength and hope for the future. Thank you for helping us keep this family together and others. It's what keeps children from becoming orphans. It means such a great deal. Listen, we've got some friends who are getting on board with this challenge. 2,500 club member from Brownsboro, Texas, going up to 2,640. And here's another one, a 2,500 club member from Kalamazoo, Michigan, $3,000. Thank you so much. Shanna was devastated when her father died. And then her mother abandoned her. Feeling all alone, she spent every break at school sobbing in the bathroom. Then this Buddhist girl began watching Superbook, and soon she would never feel alone again. Nine-year-old Chana moved to an orphanage after her father died and her mother abandoned her. When he died and mom gave me away, I was afraid to love anyone. I thought if I love them, they will die or leave me. The longer Chana lived at the orphanage, the more isolated she felt. For a long time, she cried in between classes in the school bathroom. I did not have any friend. I cried because I miss my dad. One day, a teacher at the children's home heard about Superbook through our CBN website in Cambodia. She showed her class the Bible stories, including the episode about Daniel in the lion's den. I saw how God protected Daniel. It helped me to learn that God will never give up on me, that God will never leave me. One day, Chana's teacher invited her to pray to become a Christian. I asked her to pray with me so Jesus will forgive my sin and come into my heart. Since that day, Chana has continued to watch Superbook and read her Bible. And that's helped her to learn a vital truth. 
that God really loves her. I know now that God is my father. He helps me with everything. Shanna has also learned to trust others at the children's home. She said that change began with Superbook. <laughs> Superbook has made me into a new person. Thank you to everyone who brought Superbook to me. That thank you goes to you. If you're a member of the 700 Club, you're part of Superbook. You're part of everything. Call us. Be a part of it. 1-800-700-7000. We're going over the top on the challenge. Apollo Beach, Florida. 2,500 club members saying you can count on me. $3,000. And then for Bedford, Texas, 2,500. Yes. What do you got? All right. I got Clyde, Ohio, $3,000. White House, Tennessee, 2,508. Thank you. Lillian, who lived every day in fear that her baby would die. He had a cleft lip and palate, and it made it difficult for him to breathe or eat. So Lillian placed her tiny boy in the hands of God, and before long, he received the help he needed. Take a look. Come back to me. When Soon Gwen was born, his mother Lillian cried, not for joy, but for fear. The day I gave birth, my baby and one other were born with cleft lips and palates. The other baby died. I was so scared. I thought my boy would die too. Sun Gwen survived, but every day was a challenge. Although he is a happy baby, he often struggles to take milk or even breathe, and he sleeps very little. I place Sungun in the hands of God. His name means victorious, and I believe he will be victorious. Lillian took Sungun to Kabuye Hope Hospital, which is supported by Operation Blessing. Soon, Sungun got the surgery he needed for free. He was victorious. This is a miracle. To me, this was a big problem. But for God, it was small. He is so handsome and strong now. Through you, God answered my prayers. As he grows up, I will remind him of what God did for him. Thank you for helping us. May God bless you. All right, we're over the top. Neosho, Missouri, $3,000. Lafayette, Tennessee, $2,800. Marion, New York, $8,100. Wilmington, Ohio, $2,500. We had a tremendous challenge, $203,000. Against that, you gave $239. We leave you a scripture from Galatians. Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. God bless you. We'll see you again on Monday.